Hi everybody, uh, thanks for watching the last, uh, the last episode of my vlog. Thanks for the feedback and the followers, really appreciate it. So right now I'm at the airport getting ready to, uh, to go to Dublin and teach some uh, Jiu Jitsu there. So it's going to be a pretty uh, busy schedule. So I hope I can take enough uh, videos for you guys and uh, make a nice second episode. Um, I had some comments about the audio in the last uh, video, so we're going to try and fix it. But unfortunately on this episode I'm only uh, using my mobile phone, so I hope the audio is okay. And uh, I'm going to improve it on the next video for sure. So thank you and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, leave some comments below. Uh, what stuff you uh, you want to see and what we should cover in the next episode. So thank you and I hope you will enjoy it. I've just arrived in Dublin and I see uh, Ken, he's already waiting in the back. Last time I came, he really cleaned his car. I had it valet like it was brand new. So I really hope it's, uh, it's clean, but you guys are gonna see in a minute and you're gonna uh, meet Ken as well. So uh, I'll be right back with you. So we're in the car with, uh, with Ken. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like I told you last time, you really cleaned it really nicely. So let's check it out if it's it's perfect. It's <laughs> almost. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. nice, Ken. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. So what's the plan for today, Ken? Tell us. Oh, we have four private classes and a regular class. But you'll be teaching the private class while we're um, doing the regular class. You're going to be teaching from the cage. So you'll be able to look down on us, check everything <laughs> out, and I'll be telling all the guys to be really well behaved, yeah? <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, it's good yeah. to be back, man. Yeah, thank you. Let's have some fun. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. And then tomorrow we have our big seminar. Yeah, two cool. hours of fun. Street defense. Let's entertain the people. Yes, yes. That's what we came for. Yes, yes, and beat up some of my blue belts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't, let them say, don't let them hear that, yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna cut that. Oh, it's no, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Just okay. finished breakfast right here at the uh, uh, Dunboyne Castle, and uh, right now getting ready for the for the seminar um, at the, at Kent's Academy. Funny thing, yesterday we did some privates, and uh, well, like I mentioned, I do I do quite some privates, but in some way uh, a lot of people struggle with finding the right game plan. So it's not so much that they struggle with uh, techniques. Uh, by not knowing the techniques because I truly believe that if you know the basics you um, you should be able to um, to fight very well but it's about strategy about, about game plan and um, well I think it's part of the jiu-jitsu development of your your own path as, as I should say um, as a white belt you fight you struggle you don't know what's happening uh, you don't know what mount is, you don't know what guard is, just after a while you start getting a feel with it, what it is. Then you turn into a blue belt, you know how to perform techniques, you know how to do a triangle, an armbar, a choke or whatever. But you're not really setting up a game plan for yourself, a strategy as I, as I could say. And when you turn a purple belt, you start developing a strategy and game plan. And you often see the comparison, the pictures with the knife, you know the white belt is like an old knife not sharp and anything and the black belt is like a swiss pocket knife with all those options well even though you are the pocket knife with all the options if you don't have a strategy you don't know how to use it it's all useless so make sure that whenever um, you train you try to work on some game plan for yourself and you might not, not succeed immediately but think of the next step. For instance, if you're attacking an opponent that's in your guard, put your hand in the collar and try to break the posture. Not to break the posture, but to create a reaction that he or she will push off, you're able to attack the arm. And if you defend the arm, you're gonna attack the neck. And if I tell it like this, it's quite simple uh, probably, but in reality, a lot of people just don't do it. So keep an open view and an open mind. And mindset is a different thing a whole different chapter I, I, I think uh, but keep an open view of what's happening when you're sparring and, and what you can do so today we're gonna do the seminar about street self-defense and again there it's about options um, you're not always picking the fight yourself 
and you're not always fighting in the most perfect environment. So there are a lot of factors influencing the fight. So you got to have an open mind to be aware of what's happening in your surroundings and what options you have, or maybe you don't have. For instance, if we're uh, out on the street, maybe uh, uh, in a bar, and we end up in a fight, you don't want to pull guard. You don't want to lay on your back where there's maybe gloss or anything. No, that's, that's the opposite from what you want. But in Jiu Jitsu, we often pull guard because we have the soft mats and anything. So if that's the habit, if pulling guard is your habit, you might find yourself in a very bad position um, if you use it in a street fight. So that's what, what we're gonna uh, do today in the seminar. So I hope everybody will, uh, will like it. And uh, I hope we, uh, we have time for some video there as well. Some short Let's videos. Let's a little video of everybody walking in for the seminar. What's up? <laughs> yeah. On photo bombing. Yeah, you're on the video, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, again. Yeah. So everybody's just walking in for the seminar. It's uh, each Jeff members only for uh, uh, Ken's Academy and Brandon's Academy. Where's Brandon? He's, Where's he at? He's getting changed. He's, he's doing his hair. Yeah, yeah, probably. Brennan, where you at? Oh, we're gonna find him. Sulin doing our administration. What's up, Sulin? <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to be on the video. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Very important thing, right? Yes. Yes. So, uh, where's Morgan? <laughs> yeah, man. Let's put some stripes on the bell of yours. So yeah, I'm gonna try and break the board, right? So let's see, it's a, it's a, it's a, I just kick it? Just yeah, kick it, sorry, yes. Don't hit Brandon. <laughs> hey. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Never did that. First time in my life. <laughs> Thank you. We're going for the seminar right now with, uh, with Simon. What's up, Simon? Good. <laughs> yeah, it's always a joy to be with, uh, with Simon. And in his car, I really love his car. Nice Alpha Gilia with uh, 500 horses waiting to be released. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna do some cell defense, right? Yeah, bit good. And some groundwork and some more choke chokes. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys happy. Put put everybody uh, to sleep. No, I'm just joking help everybody to put someone to sleep. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here again and uh, to, uh, yeah, to instruct your guys. So uh, it's a guy from, uh, from London, everybody. So uh, yeah, you haven't met Al. That's Al together with Simon, he's running the academy here. So um, today we're gonna do uh, a private seminar. So we're gonna do some self-defense stuff. I was thinking about some jokes. We'll see where, where it goes. Really, not um, having made a plan. It depends on you. So, if you have any questions, we'll, we'll cover it. But before we start, there's something. Uh, who left the phone? On? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he's a bit late. Liam, you're you're late, man. You have to wait uh, five minutes. Be there five minutes, Liam. Yeah, we'll, we'll be there. So, okay. um, but first. Uh, a big accomplishment for you guys is uh, actually this place, right? It's dedicated to you. And as you can see on the walls, it's pretty empty. So one thing needs to be there. Being part of, uh, of a team baby tank. 
this flag. So that's why I wanted you to wait for you to come up. I wanted to give this to you guys. Yeah, very nice. So it's for the both of you to find a nice spot here against the wall. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks. Um, so the guys, you, you did uh, the stripe test with me, Raj, Nathan, Nathan almost ready for the blue belt. But you have the three stripes on your belt and uh, where is your stripe? I did that one, yeah. Yeah, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, basically what I want to do is I want to give each of you an extra stripe. So you're really ready for the blue belt and uh, I don't know if it's going to be this year or next year, depends on your time basically. And for you, you come a long way, so for you, next year definitely you're going to do the so we're going to put an extra stripe on. Yeah. So, come on and claim it, guys. I'm telling you. Yeah, move. We step forward, right? Just arrived home from London, had, uh, had some stress this morning, almost missed the flight due to uh, traffic uh, jams. So uh, slept for five hours, had stress, fly over, what's the best thing to do? Roll with friends of course. Um, let me know what you think, what's your best way to distress? Put your opinion in the comments and uh, let us know what you thought about this, uh, this episode, this vlog. And we'll be back next week with a new episode. I'm gonna talk a bit about uh, your equipment, what should be in the ghee bag and what shouldn't, or should you bring it back, I don't know. We'll see you next week. Take care, happy rolls.